three, two, one, go. There's been a lot of talk lately, a lot of slander, a lot of talk about Eric July, Isom, and I find it terrible. There's a lot of people out there that want to hate, they want to hate, they criticise Isom like it's, like it's filth. <laughs> Criticism is racism. And I want you to understand that if society has taught me anything is that us white people should be utilising our white shame, our white guilt and supporting all black artists no matter how mediocre they are. Sure, Eric July might just be in it for the money. He might be a bit arrogant and condescending and well He's a black artist and you've got to support him. Because without support for our black artists, what would they have? You, you, you shouldn't be criticising black artists' work. It's just not on. It's not on. It's totally racist and bigoted. So I would like to say, leave Eric alone. And for all you white people out there having a go at him, Try utilising some of your white guilt. Every black artist deserves to be supported. And Eric's a conservative. There's not many of them. It's a sad state of affairs. It really hits me in the heart. I mean, sure, Eric July you know, might use a lot of CGI and um, graphics and computer-generated art, but that's not the point. He does it anyway, and he's doing it on his own. He's a strong, independent black man, and he's making money. And you lot can't do anything but hate on him. How sad and pathetic you must be. I'm not naming any names, but you know who you are. You know all the ones that have been mean to Eric. You've been mean to him. Mean. And he's not on. He's not on. He's the best thing since Malcolm X.